This is Tom with The Verge and Microsoft has created a real laptop this time. So they've obviously created the Surface Book before, um, but this is a true laptop, it's clamshell design. You open it up, there's no special tricks, the screen isn't going to detach, um, there's no kickstand or anything like that that you normally see on one of the Surface devices. This is a real laptop. Um, it's running on Windows 10 S, um, which is the company's new operating system that's designed to only run apps from the Windows Store. As you can see, it's a premium design. This isn't a cheap device. It's $999, that's the starting price. Um, and inside, Microsoft hasn't really cut corners um, with this laptop. There's an Intel Core i5 processor, the full one. It's not a fanless Core M that we might have seen on other laptops. Um, so it's fully powered, uh, four gig of RAM on the base model and 128 gig SSD. And the design, um, so you've got an aluminum finish um, all around the sort of clamshell outside of the device. And then, interestingly, Microsoft has used the Italian fabric Alcantara, um, which they've used on this Surface Pro 4 uh, limited edition keyboard. And that's actually a fabric um, across the, the keyboard here and right back around by the trackpad. And in terms of the keyboard, um, it's about one and a half mil uh, travel, so it feels pretty good. It doesn't feel like uh, a MacBook keyboard, like the regular 12 inch MacBook. Um, it feels pretty responsive. Um, and you've obviously got the touch screen that you get on any Surface um, devices and it works with the Surface Pen as well. So one of the really interesting things that Microsoft has done with this actual device is they've integrated the speakers underneath the keyboard. Um, and you'll see that there's no speakers up here, you don't really see a hinge, um, and there's no real grills or any, any sort of ugliness that you might expect from a Windows laptop. The actual fan vents are just down at the back here, it's kind of inconspicuous, just, just out of the way. On the side you've got the Surface uh, connector, so the same one that's on the Surface Pro 4 on the Surface Book. Um, and also on the other side you've got a regular USB, a mini display port and a headphone jack. So there's no USB Type-C here. I think that's probably the only disappointing thing from this. Um, having, holding it in my hand it just feels, it feels great. Like it feels like the, the Surface laptop that I've kind of always wanted Microsoft to do. So Microsoft's reasoning for really introducing this Surface laptop is to boost its Windows 10 S effort, which is a new operating system that's designed just to run apps that are in the Windows Store. That doesn't mean it's not going to run desktop apps, but they'll need to be packaged in a special way and on the Windows Store for this device to support them. Think of this as a competitor to Google's Chromebook Pixel. That's it's kind of the hero device that's meant to show off what these devices can do. There's obviously going to be low-end devices from PC makers um, such as Dell and HP and, and all the rest, but this is really the hero device it's to show off Windows 10S. And Microsoft is promising 14 and a half hours battery life on this new Surface laptop. We'll have to see if that holds up in the review, but if it does, then it's a pretty good battery life for a device like this. The only thing I'd say is could, they could have maybe made the bezels a little bit smaller on this display. Um, you've obviously got the 13.8-inch pixel sense display, um, so you're getting all of that surface goodness that you would normally get from, from the other devices. So you might notice these odd looking uh, lines on the side of the uh, Surface laptop. So it's actually by design, it's the antenna line. So like you would have on an iPhone 7 or some sort of device like that, um, all the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth and all that sort of stuff is coming out of these on either side of the Surface laptop. So it kind of spoils the design, uh, but Microsoft has moved these antennas to the side of the device so they can wedge the keyboard right up against the display so it doesn't look like it has a hinge. Okay, so that's a real quick look at Microsoft's new Surface laptop. It's going to be available on June 15th for $999. And for that, you're going to get a Core i5 processor, a 4 gig of RAM, and 128 gig of storage. Um, basically, I, I think this is the Surface laptop that pretty much everyone's been looking for, especially myself. Um, it feels really lightweight. It's beautifully designed. Um, and it's just, yeah, I, I can't wait to review this and sort of see exactly how it runs and the performance we get. Microsoft are claiming 14 and a half hours of battery life, so if that holds up, then this is going to be a pretty awesome laptop to, uh, to use every day. All right, thanks a lot for watching, and don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. We're really excited about reviewing this, and we're kind of hoping that this was the Windows laptop we've all been looking for.